meaning of the uncertainty how the uncertainty can be handled and uh, what are the properties of the uncertainty and now in this today's class i want to give the clear information regarding the symbolic reasoning under uncertainty so what are the reasons what are the techniques that are to be addressed in the symbolic reasoning under uncertainty okay so what is the meaning of the symbolic reasoning here we have described some techniques those are uh, for reasoning so those are uh, techniques whatever we are going to use for such reasoning are normally complete consistent and there is no weak rules and uh, and unchanging model the model can be consistent model that never be changed for a long period of the time and but in many problems it not possible in such kind of the situations like uh, not ever changing model not complete not uh, inconsistent and all these things are arising in the models what we are developing now so here we are going to explore some kind of the techniques what are the techniques that are going to be handled in such kind of the situations of the uncertainty where the information is inadequate it's incomplete and it's uh, inconsistent and uh, some uncertain models how to handle such kind of the situations so we can handle by such kind of the situations by using what are the things those are comes under the symbolic reasoning so what are the techniques those we are going to see now let us see the best example for this is the abc murder mystery example so in a crime in a murder mystery so a and b and c are the suspected people so these two are uh, considered as the suspected people and uh, all are considering this that uh, any one of them are all of the three of them are participated in those murder in that particular murder so what they are showing here what's happening the thing is here is a has an entry in uh, register of the respected hotel in albany that means a is showing his own evidence that he was not there at that particular point of time so he was there in an, another another somewhere while the murder was performed while the murder was done so b is also having his own evidence he is showing that his brother in law testified that uh, b was visiting him in the brooklyn at that time so b has went somewhere so b went somewhere and uh, he has uh, uh, showing his own evidences he has his own evidences that he is showing that and he is uh, emphasizing that he was not there at that particular point of the time so coming to the c c is also having his own evidence that uh, he has uh, watching a sky meeting in catskills that means he is undergone some meeting in the catskills he is also showing his own mis his own evidences okay so we have only his words for that we have to believe based on the, all the three people words that a is not there at that particular point of time so a didn't participated in that crime and b did not commit in that crime and a and a or b or c all the three people did it commit that particular crime oh, but presently the c is showing his strong documents uh, along with his evidence that uh, so he can feel he will be good luck that uh, he didn't commit any kind of the crime because he is showing the very strong uh, evidence that is he didn't um, participated in, in that particular crime and he didn't attend at a particular point of time he was not there in that particular murder okay so next what is the non monotonic reasoning so why this non monotonic reasoning can be used what is the purpose of this non monotonic reasoning non monotonic reasoning means where the axioms and rules are extended to make possible to reason with incomplete information so whatever information we are having whatever in incomplete inadequate and inconsistent information that we are having based on that information only we are concluding the uh, rules we are concluding the inferences okay so that is called as non -mon monotonic reasoning so the systems normally preserve however the property that uh, they can be believed true they can be believed false or they can be believed either so whenever we are uh, inferring such kind of the rules based on some incomplete and inadequate information so we can say such kind of the rules are not completely false and true those rules are not completely false under false or either they can be true or they can be false 
in the non monotonic reasoning so another kind of the reasoning under uncertainty that can be handled is statistical reasoning so we can calculate some probabilistic measures based on some probabilistic measures we can estimate so the value that can be true which is nearer to one so the value which is not nearer to one we can add simply leave them so that is the statistical uh, some numerical measure of the certainty we are taking in the statistical reasoning so that numerical measure can be associated for each and every statement so for this for example we can say that bayesian belief networks that we are going to discuss in the coming classes is the very good example for this statistical reasoning so in the statistical reasoning what is the thing that is going to be happen in the uh, bayesian belief networks is let us take one example so one uh, at the outside of the house um, the grass was wet there are two regions the grass was wet due to sprinklers on or there might be rain at the yesterday's night so we can calculate for the probability of these two statements so whatever value we got nearer to one that can be concluded as the true value based on its numerical value so that is the statistical reasoning so this bayesian belief networks part comes under the statistical reasoning okay so the next one we need to maintain some parallel belief spaces which of the Uh, which would correspond to the beliefs of one agent okay so whatever conventional reasoning systems before going to the statistical reasoning we are having some conventional reasoning systems those are called as first order logic this first order logic are completely complete consistent and uh, advocate uh, adequate uh, sorry adequate uh, information they maintains so this is uh, this leads to some kind of monotonicity what is the meaning of monotonicity monotonicity means the particular statement can holds only one value that is either true or false okay but not the either both values okay so whenever it leads to the both values that comes under the uncertainty we can't predict that which one is true right so that is nothing but uncertainty okay so a uh, for the first order logic is very good example for this uh, monotonicity and uh, very good example of the certainty um, its properties are complete consistent and adequate informations okay so which are opposite is nothing but your uncertainty right so if uh, these certainty properties are satisfied then the conventional logic is based on the reasoning systems that becomes uh, with these properties whatever i mentioned in the previously that complete consistent and adequate information these properties are not satisfied then that leads to non monotonic reasoning systems okay so these non monotonic reasoning systems are going to be handle the uncertainty things are very well so what are the issues to be addressed by the symbolic reasoning or non monotonic reasoning that is the first one how can the knowledge base extended to allow inference to be made based on basis of the lack of knowledge how that knowledge base can be extended by using the to allow those inferences how can the knowledge base updated properly by using this inadequate information how can this particular knowledge uh, is used to help to resolve the conflicts in the several inconsistent and non monotonic references so these at issues can be addressed how the knowledge base can be extended and uploaded how this particular knowledge can be helps to solve the problems of inadequate incomplete and uh, improper information okay so next so non monotonic reasoning so whenever we use this non monotonic reasoning to perform we commonly call as the default reasoning one of the best example of this non monotonic reasoning is default reasoning and we want to draw the conclusions based on what is most likely to be true that is the default reasoning so here again we are talking about non monotonic reasoning again in the form of default logic and two common kinds of this non monotonic reasoning is abduction and inheritance so we use this non monotonic reasoning normally to perform this default reasoning for this we are having two approaches non monotonic logic and default logic and two common approaches for this non monotonic reasoning are abduction and as well as the inheritance so like that in the coming video we discuss about this non monotonic logic uh, how it can be handled so this is nothing but the symbolic reasoning under uncertainty the symbolic reasoning is actually the non monotonic reasoning which is going to be handle the issues of issues of the information or the rules whatever it is that's containing the incomplete inconsistent and ad- inadequate information okay so this is nothing but the symbolic reasoning under uncertainty in my coming video i describe regarding this non monotonic reasoning see if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please sir, please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you thank you one and all